Hey guys, it's Wally from Mini Wars, and today we're going to be painting up this burnt out cabin from Sarissa Precision. I recently purchased the How to Make and Paint MDF kits from Sarissa as well, and I thought I'd put into practice some of the things I learned in the book. I'm going to take some brown here and paint the floors of the kit. I'm doing this while the sprue is still attached. And I'll speed it up here in a sec so you uh, don't get too bored with it. I'm going to take a darker brown and go around the edges of the building. And going in with an even darker brown, we're going to put it right in the, on the edges. I'm also putting the brown right in the center there where there'd be a lot of wear and tear from people walking around. And I'm going to start cutting out the floor here as the basis of the building. The Sarissa kits come with a really good instruction guide, not following that right along to the letter. What I'm doing here is taking a nail file with some pretty little kitties on it and just using it to smooth down those burrs from the kit where you've separated it from the, the sprue. This one's supposed to be a hatch or something like that for the uh, on the floor there, but I don't think I ever even used it. And now using a dark gray, I'm going to step on or just brush on a uh, dark gray for the chimney.
Now we're going to hit that chimney with a mix of these two grays just to uh, get some highlight on it. Just going to stipple it on here, get a, trying to get it right within the lines there. If I don't, it's not big. And as this is a burnt cabin, I'm going to take some black here and paint the leftover burnt bits of the cabin. I forgot to show the ball layer, but uh, what I'm taking is some AK Interactive Crackle Effect and I'm putting it all over the burnt pieces of wood that we have and what that's going to do is make a nice little crackly effect which is going to look like burnt wood. I did this on the outside facing parts that are burnt and I also did some of the little holes that are, that are on the inside parts as well that you can kind of see if you look inside. And what I'm doing here is just taking some PVA glue and putting together the very base of the kit and adding some of the walls to it as well. I haven't painted the very base of the frame. Well, I could have a little bit with a little bit of brown, uh, but a lot of it's going to be covered up by the flooring. And what I did later on is just uh, figured out which parts were going to be uncovered and just paint those black. And like I said before, just putting on some more of the crackle on the inside of the burnt bits. Oh, and I forgot to mention here what I've done is I've taken a pencil and just traced out which parts are uh, going to be burnt <laughs> so I knew which parts to paint with the crackle. And I thought I'd try an oil wash to do some panel lining on the chimney. Turned out okay, I think. Um, I found a better way from the book. You can just use a pencil or like a dark pencil crayon to uh, just trace it out. But you get this shot. Worked okay. The oil wash wasn't thick, it wasn't uh, thinned enough, so what I did was came back in and just uh, stirred in some more thinner, and it worked a bit better after that. Mm -hmm. 
and the spots where I've kind of put little blobs of the uh, of the wash on there. I've just come in later with a uh, Q-tip with some thinner on it and just wiped it away. I use the, these really cheap Q-tips from the dollar store. Uh, they don't, I found they don't have as many little of the fibers on it. Coming in with a light gray to accent the chimney. some black here to paint over the parts that I put the crackle on. That's done. We're going to take some of these two grays, mix them together, and dry brush on to the crackle effect. one more highlight with a lighter gray. And I'm gonna put in the flooring here. Uh, it was a bit of a bit of a cat again there, so it took me a while to uh, stuff in it properly. And here I'm figuring out where I want to put this little bird window and I find it and put some glue on it and paste it on. And I'm going to add some pigments to the building here and I'm thinking about a dark gray and a burn umber I think it was. And just taking some of the the binder here and putting it down and then just going to slap on some, some pigments right on top of it.
You know how when you've got a burnt log or something like that's really, really burnt, and it's got that kind of uh, carbony kind of silver look to it? What I thought I'd do is, uh, something I've learned from Miscal Mollers is use this, a pencil, then just go over it to give that really burnt look. And here she is on our final spin, this burnt cabin from Sarissa. I think it turned out really well. It was fun to put all of the tips and tricks I learned from the book into practice. And it's a, I recommend you get it if you really want to kick up your MDF kits to the next level. And as always, give it a like if you enjoyed this video and follow me on the Twitter. See you in the next one.